A short while ago, I showed you around to the all new Hyundai Ioniq 6. But today, this is a bit of a special day. So as you can see, I'm going on my first drive in the all new Hyundai Ioniq 6. First, if you want to see more car reviews from the latest cars on the market, then subscribe to the Holcroft YouTube channel. And to find your next car, then head to the Holcroft website. A car this stunning certainly deserves a stunning backdrop. And I mean, wow, just look at that view. Then again, look at that view. What an amazing looking car. Personally, the Hyundai Arnix 6 is one of the most innovative, unique, classic looking cars to be released in the last few years, especially in the EV market. The front of this car is sporty yet elegant and very much reminisces the old Hyundai Coupe. It has that sporty edge to it. There's not much going on, but you have these nice little bevels in the bonnet which go into these LED headlights. And the Ionic 6 very much brings new to old for the fact you have classic Ionic styling with all the pixel headlights at the front and the back. And then, like I said, the fact it reminisces the old Hyundai Coupe. You know, this car doesn't necessarily have a front grille, so you're probably thinking, well, where's the battery sort of going to cool down? And that's where these air vents at the bottom come in, which open when you drive it to allow the battery to cool down as it pleases. Coming to the side of the Hyundai Ionic 6, and that sporty look is here in abundance with that sloping roof, with the privacy glass, with the 19 inch alloy wheels, and also with the door handle. The fact that they are flush with the door, the fact you have to push in and then open like that. Also, coming to the electric plug socket, which I think is so satisfying when you open and close it. This car comes up to a 338 mile range, and that impressive electric mile range is helped by a 77 kilowatt per hour battery. Now, the Ionic 6 comes with two driving modes a rear wheel drive or an all wheel drive. Now, the all wheel drive version of the Ionic 6 houses two electric motors one to power the front and one to power the back. Now that impressive layout allows for 325 PS of power output and a not six time, rather impressive 5.1 seconds. Now the Ionic 6 also comes with pretty fast charging because you can actually get from 10% to 80% in just 18 minutes using an ultra fast charger. A performance that good surely matches its sporty exterior. Now that sporty look very much continues to the back of the Ionic 6 as you can see. This is a very sporty looking EV with dual spoiler with massive headlights at the back which incorporate that true Ionic styling. I really love the light on top of this very prominent spoiler at the back. You also got a few stylistic elements down the bottom here, you know, the little bumper. I feel like these two bits they may could have done away without. However, overall, it's a very good looking car. Now, coming onto the boot space, which I can see is fully automatic, you have over 400 litres of boot capacity, which I think looking at the back of the car, you maybe think this could be extended. And it's very much goes back rather than down. However, I think the way they've styled the boot of this car allows for a much sportier and sleeker back. Overall, it's a very good looking car. Coming to the interior then, and there's not really much I can say other than, wow. I mean, it's sleek, it's modern, it has true Ionic and Hyundai styling. So much room at the same time, everything is so close together. We come to the center console, you have all your window controls here, which you might be thinking, that's a bit odd, why is it not on the window? However, you get this massive armrest, which means that when you're sat cruising on the motorway, which can be so much easier with the smart cruise control, which we'll get onto later in the video. But when you're cruising, you can just chill like this. It's such a comfy car. Everything's been thought out. Excellent because everything's in, within reaching distance, but at the same time gives you so much space. I mean, the fact that you have this massive storage compartment underneath, you also have so much storage in the middle, including this middle compartment with two USB-Cs, two cup holders, and a wireless charging port. One thing I do like is the fact that clamp controls are down here. You can actually access them through the infotainment screen, but I like the fact you are down here, because if you're on the road, you don't want to be fast about the infotainment. You want to just quickly flick on it, your clamp controls, and you're done comes with fully electric seats which have so many configurations and if you're sat charged at the side of the road you can have a nice comfy nap. Comes to your infotainment screen and it comes with all the usual built-in navigation, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. can also have display weather, display your car settings etc etc. Does everything that you need to do and can also connect with the Blue Link app which means you can access your charging etc through your phone. Coming to your drive's display and it's very much classic Hyundai in the fact that there's not much going on but at the same time, does everything that you need to. It shows your mile range, it shows your miles per hour. Don't have big dials to show your revs, instead just has this bar which goes up, which also just makes it so much easier to see. It's very much refined, which I think is very much the essence of the Ionic 6. Slick back, unique and elegant. Come to the back seats of the Ionic 6, and as you can see, 
there is so much room in the back of this car. You know, it looks quite a long car and that space is really accentuated in the back seats. I mean, obviously with it being an EV, you don't have that middle section so people can easily stretch the legs out. You know, I mentioned Tam Tam again, I'm not the biggest fella. However, if you were a bit taller than me, then you would have plenty of space. I mean, I have so much space. Look at the gap between my knees and that seat. Absolutely brilliant. You also have so much storage. You have a massive one down here and a little phone slot by your speaker. Also a little ridge here. One really good thing I like about the back seats on it six is it comes with heated seats in the back. Now it only has two settings rather than the usual three, but you know what? I think I could make do with having that. The fact that the rear seats are heated, I think is a very good touch. You also have a nice fold down tray table with two cup holders. The only slight thing about this is be nice to have cup holders popped out there because if you didn't have a cup in, you're just resting your hand. You're sort of in the cup holder, but that's my only sort of quarry about the armrest. Overall, it's spacious. It has all the storage, has two USB-Cs down here and air vents, heated seats. It's just a really nice place to be. Now, I'm going to shut up now, talking about all the features of the Ionic 6. I'm going to be doing what you really came here for, realistically, seeing how the Ionic 6 performs out on the road. That's the key question. Does this car live up to its sporty nature, its elegant nature? Let's find out. Well, I can tell you that the driving experience so far I've experienced is so pleasant. The Ionic 6 certainly lives up to its sporty yet elegant exterior. You know, with up to 338 mile range, which if you think a few years back, were cars ever getting near 338 miles? No, they weren't. So that's a very impressive point. But also the fact that this comes with an all-wheel drive system driven by two electric motors, which can produce a not six time of 5.1 seconds. And obviously with it being an EV, you're gonna have really responsive acceleration. And you get that with the Ionic 6 in abundance. Because all you need to do is slightly tap your accelerator and you're away and you're away at some speed. I mean, not 60, in 5.1 seconds is very impressive and if you then put it in sport mode this car doesn't feel like an ev in a sense it feels like a really high performance vehicle but then if you don't want a car that's going to be high performance then also please put it in normal modes and the fact that the seats are so comfy it glides around corners all in all it's just an excellent tram experience you know you have so much space and storage in the drives and also in the passenger seat but then that space also is very well crafted for the fact that everything was in reach. Your climate controls are not too far away. Your infotainment screen is really easy to access. Your window controls are in the middle, which also means that on your armrest, you have so much space to sort of chill when you're on a long cruise, which makes it so much easier with the adaptive cruise control. Which brings me on to the driver's safety convenience features, because the Ionic 6 is packed to the brim. I mean, you expect that from Hyundai vehicles to have a lot of safety features, and you get that with the Ionic 6. You know, I mentioned about the smart cruise control. On top of that, you have lane keep assist, which also means if you're on a long drive on the motorway, you can essentially whack both of them on and the car somewhat drives itself. Yes, you have to keep your hands on the steering wheel and if you have them off for too long, then the car will alert you to put them back on. However, it just adds to the whole experience of driving the Ionic 6. It's elegant, it's high performing, and it's relaxing and easy to drive. I can't really fault the drive of this vehicle, I must say. The only downside is the fact that I've got to give this back now. And honestly, I have fallen in love with this car. Also, the fact that this car comes with regenerative braking so ultimately means you get more out of that electric battery and they're just the paddle shifters behind the steering wheel, which also means they're so easy to sort of switch while you're driving. There's no need to faff about with buttons. You just reach around the steering wheel and they're there. Very handy. Overall then, Arnic 6, honestly, I'm in love with this car. The exterior design is excellent, it's innovative, it's unique, it's classy, and also it's very sporty, somewhat looks a bit like a Porsche. Then you come to the interior, it's classic Hyundai, where it's also been refined, futuristic. And then when it comes to the drive, I mean, 5.1, not to 60 time, and it's so relaxing. I mean, I'm sold. Arnic 6 for me is a winner.